Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about something that seems obvious, but it's not. Five reasons why you should be focusing on improving your English. Reason number one, freedom. When you know English, you don't depend on somebody or something to help you. And this freedom is amazing. I'm going to give you an example of something that happened when I lived in London, okay? I met a lady who had been living in London for 10 years. She was Brazilian and she didn't speak English. 10 years, yes, it's possible. It happens to a lot of people. 10 years, no English. Something happened in her life that made her need my help. She got a bad condition, a disease in her liver. Liver is your organ. If you drink a lot of alcohol, you're probably gonna have a problem with your liver. So she had a problem in her liver and she needed somebody to go to hospital with her to go through a liver biopsy. Can you imagine that? So a liver biopsy is basically them taking a little bit of your liver out. And you don't know the language and you're lost and it's a very delicate moment, isn't it? Like you want somebody to be there to give you support and, and stuff. So she got in touch with me and I went there to, to hospital with her and was there throughout the whole procedure. So she had no idea what the doctors were saying. She had no idea what I was saying to the doctors because I was telling her what I was saying. But what if I wasn't telling her exactly what I was saying? I mean, this is her health. We're talking about a serious health condition here. We're not talking about going to the doctors because you have a cough. <coughs> no, a cough can be serious, actually. We're talking about something very serious, a liver condition. And she totally had to rely on a stranger because I was a stranger to her to help her. Can you imagine that? So really, freedom is not just about this situation. Freedom is also about not needing Google Translate to help you. A lot of people say, whatever, I've got Google Translate, I can just use that and it's going to get me through. And yeah, it gets you through, but really, is that what you want? Do you want to be relying on Google Translate forever? No. Reason number two, career. Your career most likely depends on English to reach its full potential. What am I saying here? I'm saying that if you know English, you're going to get more money. Did you know that you get paid more when you know English most of the time? Yeah. You're going to get better promotions and basically going to get better opportunities. So English opens doors. It's true. Number three, the best content in the world is in English. This is a general thing I'm saying here, right? But what am I saying? Movies, music, books, documentaries, interviews, um, articles, all the best things out there are in English. Yes, there are great things that are not in English, but I'm being general here. And when you know English, you have access to all of this. And then you say to me, which takes me to point number four, you say to me, whatever, the book was written in English, but I can just get a version of the book in Portuguese and I'm still going to read the book. The movie was done in English, but I can just watch it with subtitles in Portuguese and that's okay. And I'll say to you, yeah, 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 all right. Number four is a lot gets lost in translation. I know this because when I'm watching something in English and there is subtitles in Portuguese, I always think, what? That's not what they said. No. It's never exactly precise because translation is so complex. So when you know the language, you're going to have such a better understanding of everything you're in contact with. And I think it's worth it, don't you? I think it's worth really understanding a movie and really understanding a book and researching about something in English because the best researches out there are in English. So come on. 
Number five, last of today's list, is actually um, something that seems obvious, but it's not at all, which is traveling. Yes, when you know English and you travel, it's easier at a restaurant, in a shop, to get a taxi, in a hotel, yeah, yeah, we know that, right? But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about traveling and being able to actually grasp the culture and learn more and have more knowledge about the world when you know English. Because when you travel to an English-speaking country such as England, if you know English and you, you can communicate and you want to learn more, you can start chatting to the waiter or you can start chatting to the taxi driver or chatting at the hotel or whatever. You can meet people and chat. And this experience talking to people is what is going to teach you more than any book you can possibly imagine, any textbook that teaches you English per se. You know, and when you travel to, yes, of course, there are countries that are not English speaking countries that don't speak a lot of English, such as Thailand, I think. They don't speak a lot of English there. So then this doesn't apply. So then English is good just because it's easier to get by in English than in Portuguese. Do you agree with me? Yeah. But when you travel to a country such as Germany, English is not a first language there, it's German. However, German people speak really good English a lot of the time. So you can practice with them and you can, you know, imagine meeting a German guy at the pub and having a chat about the culture, about the origin of the beer, whatever. You learn so much more and your trip then becomes something unforgettable and something that, will, that you will cherish forever. So I hope these reasons will help you. Stop making excuses <laughs> to improve your English and then you will realize that actually there are so many reasons to learn and there are no reasons why you shouldn't. So if you like this video, remember, click on like, share with your friends, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for being here today. Bye.